increasing my interest rate on one of my properties. So I'm paying 10% interest. It's took the mortgage payment from around, you know, 2000 to now 3,200. Oh my God, in this video, we're gonna continue the saga of the bank interest rates. What are we gonna do about it? Now, let me tell you something. This crazy thing here, this letter, is what I received. And this is about the third or fourth letter I've received right now, increasing my interest rate on one of my properties. We turned this house into an eight bedroom HMO, uh, top of the spec, it's always fully occupied. It's in a great area, article four area. Now. Here's the thing, with those low rates at the time, this was like a base rate plus, you know, a 5% margin. You know, so at the time it was great, but now the things are 5%, this interest rate I just received is now 10%. Yeah, so I'm paying 10% interest. It's took the mortgage payment from around, you know, 2,000 to now 3,200. That's insane, isn't it? Yeah, like, what is one to do? So in this video, I'm gonna give the options on how to handle it. You know, so I brainstormed this in my, you know, community, with my business partners, you know, my mentors, yeah? And it's just another one of those times where we have gotta figure out what to do. So here's the thing. You know, it's kind of breaking even or sometimes losing money just depending on what the activities and what are the fees that we've got. Yeah, so that's not really a money maker, but there is equity there. So if I can ride the wave by just keeping it, then all good. Uh, but the problem is with that, if the base rate continues to increase, so is the interest rate. Yeah, so why do I need to sit there losing money on this property? Now, here's another option. The other option, I could sell it. I'm gonna lose the equity, I'm gonna lose the growth power over the many years, it's in a great area. Uh, but I could sell it, take the cash, take the capital, put it in and invest it into somewhere else and start doubling that money as well. Here's another thing I can do. I can start switching up this loan now. So yes, I could go to another bank, you know, and lock in some lower rates like 6.6 .6 or something like that. But at the same time, I need to look at breaking out of the fixed term. Yeah, so the fixed term, uh, we just started to go into where there's a 2% redemption fee. The mortgage is about 350,000. So 350,000. Uh, times the 2% is £7,000. So £7,000 extra it's gonna cost me to get out of this mortgage. Now I've gotta work out, is it worth me get paying that to get out of the mortgage? Well, here's the thing. Right now, it's costing me 3,200. Where if we take, you know, 357,000, is that that's the money I'm gonna need. Now, if we could go out there and say, right, so times 7%, that's 24,000 interest that it's gonna cost me, you know, a year divided by 12. That means my payments will be back down to 2,082 pounds, 2,082 pounds. So you see in this scenario for me to go out there and take on a loan uh, or better still, rather than a loan from another bank, an investor. So investors lend the money, get 7% return, and they can be paid 2,000 pounds every single month from month one. Yeah, and you could start getting a monthly return. That's a nice, you know, chunk of money. And then what will happen there is the cash flow is gonna increase by 1,200 pounds. So if I take my 7,000 pounds, divide it by the 1,200, equals 5.8 months. So 5.8 months will be the kind of turning point where like, well, the extra cost of getting out the mortgage has now been eradicated through the extra cash flow. So anything from now on is pure profit. So let's say after six months, we're back into getting the profit and we've got the 1200 gap again on this wonderful uh, property. So you see, look, when people think, you know, turmoil, problems, challenges, the market's playing funny games with you. Look, there are always ways to make it work. And in fact, the changes that come into the marketplace, especially in the property industry, like the EPC changes, go subscribe to this channel and check out the videos about how to handle that. Uh, cost in the, rising cost in the build, you know, construction, rising cost in the gas, electric, utilities. These changes, when these come, these waves of changes, they're just to wipe out all the weak people who are not doing it properly. So I'm gonna to suggest to you that you start to learn and get educated. You know, come to one of our Property Millionaire Makers, get on the Real Life University app, 
you know, you can get access to masterminds and, and a, com a whole community of people who are doing this and have not just arrived in this wave right now, have ri already ridden the previous waves. So subscribe to the channel, make sure you check us out on social media, on our websites, learn how to take care of deals like this because if I can make a deal work at 10% uh, right now, then we can make deals work forever. So until next time, do the right thing for the right reason because that's the only way you're going to discover your true potential.